Hello everyone, welcome to this section of this video. Um, I am Ruby's Tech. Today we'll be looking at how to import your Trust Wallet. How to import the Trust Wallet, okay, from your iOS. That right? is the same content you have in your Trust Wallet on your iOS to your Metamax uh, Wallet. By now, you must have known that um, uh, iOS users can no longer access the DAPS browser on Trust Wallet. So that's why it is now. Um, I will now show you how to use the same account you have in your trust wallet on your metamask uh, uh, wallet okay now if you don't have um, um, metamask first of all you have to go to your ios okay and your ios um, app store okay and install the metamask wallet so after doing that next is to, is to go to your trust wallet okay and you click on settings and at the top here you see wallets click on it next is to, is to click on this um three dots at uh, this right hand corner click on it then you will see uh show record phrase okay now it is important to uh, uh to warn us that um you should be careful with your recovery phrase how to keep, write them down keep them in a secure place because if you lose access to it you will lose access to your account and if you give it to strangers they will end up stealing your um your coins that you have stealing your wallet and taking everything inside with it okay so therefore it's very important that you keep your recovery phrase um very secured okay so you click on show recovery phrase click on it if there's a password enter it okay now the same warning will come up again the recovery phrase is the master key to your phones never share it with anyone trustwallet will never ask you for this information if you lose your recovery phrase not even trustwallet can recover your phones okay so you make sure you understand this you click on, on i understand then you proceed and click on continue for security reasons for this video i won't be showing my recovery phrase of course not i will be showing it to uh uh, my esteemed viewers okay of course so i will pause this video and copy the recovery phrase then we'll proceed next step to the metamask to do uh, to import um uh, our trust wallet to the metamask uh, app okay so i will be back in a short while. so i am done copying my recovery phrase you now go to your trust wallet okay now for if um if uh, you already have a trust wallet installed it will be like this okay if you already have a trust wallet installed it should be like this what you need to do is you must log out of your trust wallet for you to import okay for you to import you must log out if you're using the, your ios phone uh mobile phone you have to log out look at uh, go to okay, again you go to the uh, menu click on the menu okay then of course you scroll down the last item on this menu is log out log out of your trust wallet of course you you um if when you were signing in you had your um uh, uh, user your password of course so you know uh you need your password to log in ensure you know your password already of course uh this account has nothing inside okay so you um log out of the account so uh on mobile phones you may not be able to see um the import uh, wallet okay but if you are using a desktop computer or uh, you're able to see on that reset you're able to see import wallet so but mobile devices you may not get the um, uh, the import wallet that means you have to reset your account you reset this wallet for you to start all over okay and uh, if you are just uh, um, installing this um, of course um, when you click on reset you will see I understand and continue okay so you make sure you of course we we have our recovery phrase already so we can click i understand and continue so you click then type delete to erase current wallet permanently so you click on delete and rather spell out delete then of course delete my account my wallet rather okay so it now comes to like fresh installation okay it's like you are installing a uh uh, a metamax wallet from scratch if you are uh, let me be, let me be sure that you are seeing what's um uh, uh what's on the video if you are just installing the um trust wallet for the first time or you just reset your trust wallet it's exactly what you'll be saying okay exactly what you'll be saying so um after the reset what you do is click on uh, uh import using seed phrase okay on import using seed phrase okay 
I'll go back. It will not be seen that information. And this report using secret recovery phrase. Is that seed phrase you see there? Or you will just see import using seed phrase. Or you will see import using um, import using a recovery phrase. Okay. Both of them are valid. Okay. So we'll go back to the trust the MetaMax wallet. Click on import using recovery phrase. Okay. Now you will paste the um you have to paste the recovery phrase okay um for security reasons too i don't want to expose my recovery phrase so i will pause the video briefly and enter my recovery phrase my password okay and confirm my password uh, that will be what you will see in the next screen so you enter the information your secret recovery phrase your new password your password okay confirm the password and you click on import okay so when you click on import um uh, I think, of course, you may not be seeing what is going on presently because uh, uh, for security reasons, uh, the, the screen is blank. So congratulations after clicking on import, you are done importing your trust wallet. Okay, so click on done. And of course, uh, you will now see details of your MetaMask open. That's a new account. So if you check, uh, work, uh, if you check now, you will see that the, um, the, the, the um, wallet address, okay, you can see 0x723f is the same thing with what you have in your, um, in your, um, rather, in your, um, you, you will see this, you see that it's the same thing you have in your trust wallet, okay, you can see that it's 0x723 and all that okay it's the same thing you now have in your trust wallet 0x73 so that is how to import import your um your trust wallet app to your um, um metamax the same thing the same information now for you to get because trust wallet is most of your coins i believe will be on um, binance smart chain okay so next is for you to add the uh, because by default the metamax is on you see that it's on ethereum network okay so what you do now is to add um add a custom network that's the binance smashing network to for you to see uh, after you add the binance smashing network you now add the use the uh, contract address for each token that you have in your trust wallet and they will all show with the same balance uh, right here in your trust wallet so i will use um i'll use this first one on my list that's uh, the glass token okay so i will get the contract address and we'll see uh we'll now add it to um our metamask so first of all let's add um the um custom um network okay click on settings go to and rather go to menu okay scroll down you see settings click on it then of course you now see networks then you now see add network at the bottom add network now you now need the inf this information uh, i'll make it available shortly you enter them then you add the network so you enter the information as shown on your screen now you can take a snapshot okay enter it okay and click on save once you click on save okay automatically it should take you back to uh the binance smart chain network okay now you now have the ethereum you now have the binance okay because most of the coins you want to add here are basically um, the uh, of the smart chain network. Okay, so if you must trade, so you can see that uh, if you check properly, go to my uh, trust wallet app. If you check uh, my smart chain balance, my BNB balance is 0 0.05293 BNB. You can see that what is uh, my balance here now is um, the same. It's showing the same, exactly the same thing okay so you next is to get the contract address for all your coins okay that you have on your trust wallet and if you and now add the token okay to so you can see now add tokens okay um for example i can get that of um, uh, i want to add glass okay so um i go to i see transactions that are already taking place click on more it will take me to the bs scan where um I will get the information or that's the contract address of the glass token and i'll copy it and add it to 
um, my MetaMask. Okay, so here is the glass. Click on it. Click on glass at the bottom here. Hourglass. Okay, uh, that's to be make to you have to be you have, you have to be uh, very sure that you are copying the right contract address. That's why I went through my my my, my, my trust wallet app. So copy. Go back to your um, MetaMask uh, wallet. Wait for it to open up. Okay, you click on Add Tokens. Now the contract address I just copied, I paste. Okay, you see, I just pasted it. Okay, make sure it's correct. Then the token symbol, symbol I usually I have to tap uh, on this token symbol for it to come up. Sometimes you have to wait, but instead of waiting, just tap on this this uh, boss uh, like two, three, four, five times, and the information will pop up faster. Okay, and instead of just waiting it out, it's faster this way. So click on Add Tokens. Okay. Add token and you see my balance on the same balance I have in my trust wallet. The same balance, let's go back and see it. The balance is uh, about uh, six billion coins has popped up in my trust wallet app. Okay, so now I will copy this information like the contract address. I'll put in the description of this video for you to have easy access to it okay so um also i did a video earlier on how to buy um um buy how to trade on pancake swap for example you want to buy i'm using this glass as an example you want to buy glass um the glass token on pancake swap this is the this is the dap browser for um for metamax okay okay now i also did a video earlier on how to stake um your glass coins on metamax you use this that browser also i'll put all these links in the description below for you to gain easier access to them okay and if you find this video video helpful and um uh, please like and um and and, and uh, subscribe to the channel and um if um you have any question uh, maybe in the course of this video I did not uh, make any point very clear for you to understand. Please use the comment section below. I will reply as soon as is possible. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.